Discovery Zone was every 90s kid's dream place to run around, play video games, and just cut loose. Imagine a giant indoor playground where everything was padded, there was giant ball pits, and roller slides. And next to it, there was a small arcade so you can play video games. Everything seemed to be going well, but one by one they started shutting down. So where did things go wrong? What happened? Let's take a look at the rise and fall of Discovery Zone. Discovery Zone was founded by Ronald Match, Jim Jorgensen, and Dr. David Chozat in 1989 and the first location opened in Kansas City, Missouri. Right off the bat, they had an early investor and a very vocal supporter of the company. That person was none other than professional tennis player Billie Jean King. After the few locations opened, they soon expanded all around the United States. Now, I have a lot of personal memories with Discovery Zone. I've been to a couple birthday parties there, and I just remember it just being a great place. My favorite thing was the roller slides, and of course, the giant ball pits. Everything seemed to be going well, so what happened? Well, in March of 96, they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy with debts up to $366.8 million. In all my research, I couldn't pinpoint the exact thing that went wrong. Maybe it was a bad investment or they just made some bad financial decisions. But I did find that they were stretched thin by expansion and a change of management just to try to save the company. But overall, it failed. On June 30th, 1999, they closed half their locations without notice. Then 13 of the locations were sold to CC Entertainment Inc., which is the parent company that owns Chuck E. Cheese. Then they would soon later buy even more Discovery Zones. It's been 18 years since the Discovery Zone closed down. It's a very nostalgic place to me and other 90s kids. I would love to see Discovery Zone brought back. This way a new generation can just experience how wonderful and amazing this playground was. Well, that's really all I could find on why Discovery Zone closed down. So if you enjoyed this video or if you remember Discovery Zone, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any fond memories of Discovery Zone, let me know in the comments below. That being said, I'll see you guys later.